This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performances do not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk. There is always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the market wrap for April 2nd, 2007. In the news today, the Institute for Supply Management reported that U.S. manufacturing sector expanded slowly in March. The ISM index fell to 50.9% from 52.3% in February. Readings in the index diffusion index indicate a major of firm surveyed say businesses was getting better. Economists expected a slight slowing to 51.8. As for our stocks in the news, EMI Group set a deal to allow Apple to sell the record company songs online would not include the Beatles catalog. Dashing hope the group's music would be available to download for the first time. EMI has acted as a distributor for the Beatles since the early 1960s, but the Beatles music holding company has so far declined to allow any Beatles music on any internet. AT&T said it is in talks to buy in the company that controls Telecom Italia for about four, 6.4 billion. AirTrain Holdings raised its hostile bid Monday for rival Midwest Air Group by almost 13% to 389 million in cash and stock. The parent company of Midwest Airlines has rebuffed previous offers in AirTrain's continued attempt to acquire the regional airline by saying that Midwest would be stronger remaining on its own. Tribune has accept, accepted a buyout offer from real estate investor Sam Zell in a deal valued at about 8.2 billion. Tribune says Zell plans to invest $315 million in the deal and the company will sell the Chicago Cubs baseball team at the end of the season. Xerox Corp. said it plans to buy Global Imaging System in a deal worth about $1.5 billion. The $29 per share price is a 49% premium over Global's closing price of $19.50. Friday on the NASDAQ stock market. For scheduled economic reports, first Tuesday, we have retail chain index for the week of March 31st. And for scheduled earning reports on Tuesday, there is International Speedway, Boston Life Sciences, Idaho General Mines, Lane Christensen, Pulp and Tablet. This has been the market wrap for April 2nd, 2007.